It's a new month and it's a new year. And it's time for a new Keto Crate. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we taste something in the Keto Crate, you'll be alerted to it. So we got the January edition of the Keto Crate, and just it's in time. just in time, because today, when we're filming this is December 31st. Which means we can taste stuff still. <laughs> so yeah, if there's something in here that we wanna try, we can taste it because we don't start beef, butter, bacon, egg, and keto chow until tomorrow. There's only one downside to it and that is the price list for January Keto Crate isn't out yet. So editing Joe, can you put the prices in later? Yes, we will put that down below or actually across the bottom of the screen. So the way we do a Keto Crate is every month we're gonna go over each product that's in here, and then usually how much it costs, which I'm gonna put on the bottom of the screen, as well as what the ingredients are and what the nutrition label is. Yeah. Now, if you don't know what a Keto Crate is, this is a monthly subscription box. It comes with like eight to 12 different items. And it's a great way to try things without buying an entire case of them. Well, and also to just find out that these things exist. Right. I'm not gonna by osmosis figure out like, I bet that there's a nacho chip out there made entirely out of egg whites. Right. But like we find this, these type of things in here. Yeah, so we found lots of things that we like in here. Uh, now, if you are interested in getting a keto crate, it is a great gift for somebody who you think may be just getting started on keto because they can try different keto products. Yes. There's a link down below that link will get you a discount off of your first box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this box. What's inside? There's always a little flyer. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay, so we've got $120 off, including free shipping on Green Chef. Anthony actually loves Green Chef. Wow. He's used it across a few times. I have a feeling it's, it's not for free if it's $120 off. Okay, first item. Chipmunk chocolate chip pecan keto cookie. Now, Cute. we have tried chipmunk before, but not these. We tried the bags and I wasn't a huge fan. Some people like them, some people don't. I might be interested in trying this because we have not tried this. Is that the thinnest cookie I've ever seen? It looks like there's nothing in it. I don't know. It feels, it's pretty substantially heavy. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients, which are under the fold. Ingredients. Almond flour, allulose, butter, eggs, chocolate chips, which are cocoa beans and allulose, pecans, natural vanilla flavor, salt, cognac powder, psyllium husk powder, baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, plant fibers of lemon pea, potato, plantain, and Norwegian kelp, vitamin E, natural mixed tuberols, and monk fruit extract. So those are very clean ingredients. I mean, there's nothing like a cookie made with Norwegian kelp. It's like in every, that's in grandma's <laughs> baking recipe, right? Okay, so a serving size is one cookie, 200 calories per cookie, 18 grams of fat, five grams of protein, 19 total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber. I love the fact they're not doing a whole bunch of yeah. dietary fiber. 14 grams of allulose, making it two net carbs. So that's pretty good because I'm okay taking allulose out. I still have a total carb cap, but I'm okay taking allulose out on my net carb. I don't generally take out fiber because Companies like to play fiber game, not this company, but uh, yeah, I'm interested in that. Me Ready? Too. Yeah. It is heavy. Second up. But thin. Pazoots. I love Pazoots. This is Baja Taco Pecans. 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 Pecan. So let's see what's in these guys. The ingredients. Pecans. I like that that's the first ingredient, right? Kosher salt chili pepper, cumin, oregano, onion, garlic, and water. It doesn't get much Now, we've never had their pecans. We, we've only had the peanuts. And it's amazing. It's not dusted on the outside. Somehow, they infuse the inside of the nuts yeah. with the flavoring, which we're tasting these. I'm, I, I'm, we're having it. Okay, so a serving size, let's see. 1.25 servings per container. Okay, come on, come on guys. 
it's we it's don't one need a round day. number. So it's 200 calories per serving, 20 grams of fat, three grams of protein, four total carbohydrates, three dietary fiber, so one net carb. But I mean, it's pecans. It's right. nuts. There's going to be some total carbs in there. Sounds good. I'm excited about these. Next up, better than goods veggie infused protein breakfast puffs. Fruity Charms. We've had Fruity some Charms. of their cereal. It was pretty good. A uh, couple flavors I didn't like. Couple I did like. So let's see. Um, Always under the fold. Way under the fold. Oh, but you're gonna have to open it to see it. Okay. There we go. Sort of. Sort of. Almost. Nearly. Very oh, I got close. it. All right. Okay. So the ingredients are. Confectionery coating, which is inulin, palm kernel oil, non-fat dry milk, sunflower less than vanilla powder, salt, monk fruit, allulose, stevia. Then we have milk protein isolate, fruit and vegetable bl blend, which is broccoli, spinach, kale, pumpkin, uh, sweet potato, sunflower seeds, kelp, col uh, colora, mytake mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> shiitake mushrooms what's your take my take is natural fruit extract flavoring and confectioner glaze all right okay so they sound like there's some kind of coated cereal so a serving size is one pack at 130 calories per serving six grams of fat 10 grams of protein 10 total carbohydrates seven grams of dietary fiber two grams of sugar alcohol so they're saying it's one net carb i personally wouldn't deduct the fiber no um but you know what We'll go ahead and try it, possibly. These are good ice cream topper things. Yeah, that's what we usually use that It's stuff a good for. replacement if your kids really want to have cereal and you want sugar-free. It's for that kind of thing. That looks interesting. Ooh, look at this. All right, so it is Genius Gourmet Keto Bar. This is salted caramel. All right, so let's see what's in this bad boy. The ingredients are keto vegetable fat blend, which is palm kernel oil, palm oil, and sunflower oil. A protein blend of milk protein isolate, whey protein isolate, rice protein concentrate. There's erythritol, fructoligosaccharide, cocoa butter, soluble corn fiber, natural flavors, almond butter, inulin, medium chain triglycerides, or MCT, sunflower lecithin, buttermilk, cocoa powder, salt, tosiferols, uh, ribotoside A, and re stevia. Uh, okay, yeah, stevia extract, turmeric extract, and paprika extract for color, and vanilla powder. I feel what? like it's going to be high in fiber. Yeah. One, oh, it's very soft, though. Usually it's got that weird thing. Um, 170 calories in the bar, 13 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, six total okay. carbs. You've got me interested. I'm, I'm corrected. Three grams of fiber I and uh, less than one gram of total sugar, but then two sugar alcohols. One net carb? Wow, we are definitely... Okay, we're going to try that. I think this, we're eating this whole box. This is very fluffy. Feel that. It's soft. It's, it's like a marshmallow. Which is how you know they're not quite playing the fiber game because usually if it's a fiber situation that they're, they're sweetening with, oh my gosh, it's like uh, gummy. Okay, Keto Crisps Cheddar. So it's Yum. a cheese thing. From Keto Logic. Probably like a moon cheese. Uh, Pasteurized milk, salt... Microbial coagulant cheese culture. So it's just a cheese crisp. Yeah. There are two servings in the bag, seven pieces per serving, 160 calories per serving, 13 grams of fat, nine grams of protein, one total carbohydrate. I'm interested to see- Hey, how, an item we don't want to try right now. Well, how do they fare up against moon cheese and like, what's the other one that we really like that's super crunchy? Is it F-bomb? Uh, F-bombs. Yeah, that one is really good. There you go. All right, next up is Hilo. Super cheesy, crispy cheddar cheese and almond snack mix. Let's see what's in here. The ingredients are cheddar cheese, uh, roasted almonds, cheddar seasoning, which is cheddar cheese powder, cultured milk, salt enzymes, buttermilk powder, non-fat dry milk, yeast extract, onion powder, natural flavor, cream powder, contains less than 2% of whey protein concentrate, disodium phosphate, garlic powder, spice, paprika, paprika extract for color, and sunflower oil. One package is a serving, thank you. 250 calories, 20 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, 
uh, five total carbs, two dietary fiber. So three net carbs. Okay. Very nice. We've had this stuff before. I really like it. It's very good. Okay. Monk pack. There's a monk pack. Keto granola bar. We've had these before. Actually, mm -hmm. I, I kind of I like these. They're they're they got a good texture. Ingredients are almond, allulose, almond butter, coconut, sunflower seeds, soluble tapioca fiber, flax seed, vegetable glycerin, palm kernel oil, natural flavors, sea salt, alkalized cocoa powder, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, mixed tofurols, which is vitamin E for freshness, sunflower lecithin, monk fruit extract, and reasonably sourced. Made in Canada. Okay. Thinking of you, Miss Mary. Serving size is one bar, 140 calories per serving, 12 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates, 4 grams of dietary fiber, and then we have 5.5 grams of allulose and 0.5 grams of glycerin, which is technically a sugar alcohol. So that is making it two net carbs. Very nice. I'd be interested to see, like, you know, what people like about this. <gasps> Super coffee. I know what you're drinking today. Oh, this today. is absolutely getting drunk today. Um, so the ingredients in this is Colombian coffee, milk protein isolate, MCT oil, natural vanilla flavor, natural flavor, potassium phosphate, monk fruit, organic green coffee, caffeine, and gallum gum. One bottle is 70 calories. I love these things. They're just not usually super cheap, but they right. are a treat for me. Yeah. Um, 2.5 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, three total carbs, one dietary Fiber, so you're looking at two net carbs, and man, Kai Tu, it's where it's at. I love it. Okay. Super coffee. Patented Belgium recipe. Ooh. 100% real chocolate, sweet well, milk chocolate almond bites with I pink like Himalayan. Ooh. I, I love like, salted chocolate. Well, and I like things that are sweet, but I also want to be well. So it's a good name. So yeah, Chalk Zero has like chocolate covered almonds that I love. Ooh. Gotta hide them from myself. Yep. Ingredients, roasted almonds, cocoa mass, uh, cocoa butter, whole milk, cocoa, polydextrose isomalt. All right. Soluble corn fiber, chicory root fiber, soy lecithin, pink Himalayan salt, and stevia. Uh, 100, so there's 3.2 servings. Is there, is really, there though? Really, 3.2 servings? Oh. Why can't it be three? Well, today I'm going to enjoy my 0.2 serving. So a serving size is 14 chocolates. How many, it doesn't feel like there's that many in here. How big are they? It's a small one. Calories are 150 calories each uh, for a serving. 13 grams of fat, 3 grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates, 4 grams of dietary fiber, 5 grams of sugar alcohol. So they're saying it's one net carb per serving. This is definitely... We may have to try that too. These are the reasons, though, that we have a total carb cap. That's right. Right? There you go. Oh, we've had these guys before. Another thing we don't have to try because we've had them before. Chalk Zero. These are delicious. The milk chocolate peanut butter cups, which I actually really like. Um, let's see. The ingredients are milk chocolate, which is unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, whole milk powder, soluble corn fiber, non-GMO resistant dextrin, sunflower lecithin, monk fruit extract, Madagascar bourbon vanilla beans, roasted peanuts, cocoa butter, peanut flour, sea salt, monk fruit extract, xanthan gum, gore gum, and a natural caramel flavor. Now there are six peanut butter cups individually wrapped, which I really appreciate in this bag. One cup is 70 calories, um, six grams of fat, two grams of protein, six total carbs, four dietary fiber, and they're saying zero sugar alcohol. So they're saying two net carbs per um, little cup. One more, there's no meat stick. Oh, but there's some meat right here, pork skin. No meat stick. Okay, so last item. Porking good, smoky jalapeno and cheese, one of my favorite flavors. It's got a little kick to it, yep. I ain't gonna lie. Ingredients in this are pork rinds cooked in pork fat, that's very important to me. Then we have seasoning, which is white cheddar, cheddar cheese, milk, salt, cheese culture, enzymes, whey, buttermilk, natural flavor, salt, sodium, uh, disodium phosphate, silicon dioxide added as an anti-caking agent, Salt, non-fat dry milk, onion powder, dehydrated jalapeno, spices including paprika, lactic acid, smoke oil, which is soybean oil and smoke flavor, and then artificial green bell flavor. Yum. Um, so we have, there are four servings in this bag. No, there's not. There's, there's one maybe serving for two. Me. 80 calories, uh, five grams of fat, eight grams of protein, zero 
total carbohydrates. We love porking good. Uh, there's actually a link down below and a discount coupon for two crazy ketos that will get you 10% off. Yes, so what are we gonna try? A lot. I definitely wanna try the Pazoots. Okay. I definitely wanna try these balls and I definitely wanna try this. And then I wanna try the monk fruit. You mean? This. This? The I, monk The monk. The cookie. chip monk? Yeah. All right. Okay, ready? There's one for you. Yum. Ready? We didn't drink that. Mmm. That's good. See, it's all on the inside. That's what's so crazy. The taste is on the inside of the nut, not the dusting on the outside. Those are really good. Those are got like a nice little tang to them. They're not spicy though. Right. Even though they're taco. You need a mouth cleanse? Not with grape, I don't. Okay. Ooh. But I want to put this over ice though. Okay. Chocolate? Yeah. I feel we're all in the dessert thing. We could try one of these. Let's try one nah, of these. That's just cheese though. I know, but I want to see how crunchy it is. Okay. Well, then let's try this too. Okay. We're going to try it all. There mm, you go. I'm least excited about Oh, them. there are a lot in here. I, I didn't think there Let were going to be it. that many in there. Okay, right. well, dink it. Dink. Mmm. Tastes like Brock's candy. Remember Brock's? Mm hmm. It wasn't like the super fanciest chocolate, but it did the job. They're okay. They're okay. I Taste think I like the Chalk Zero ones better. I do too. This one tastes a little bit more like cocoa on the outside chocolate. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, is it's, it feels, at least maybe it's just the one that I got. It's a small almond with a lot of chocolate. Yeah. And when I eat chocolate covered almonds, I want mostly almond with just a little bit of chocolate. Well, isn't that the Brock's way though? Because they would be like, hey, these, yeah. these nuts are expensive. You're getting a lot of the cheap chocolate. These, it's going to come down to the price. Yeah. Let's go with cereal. Because we've had this brand before, but not this, this flavor. flavor. I don't think we've had this flavor. I don't think so. Fruity Charms. Fruity charms, like. So what does a vegetable infused? Ooh. It they looks, look like yogurt balls. It looks like they're shellacked. Wow, that is weird looking. They smell like Fruit Loops. There's a lot going on here. It's like, they're trying to say that basically like Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms had a baby. And then coated it with yogurt? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't hate that. Wow. I would have to use this, like, Topping. that's no cereal for me. That is not oh, a cereal. Oh, no, that's candy. Breakfast prop. This is candy. This is a good topping. This would be a good mix-in and a creamy ice cream. Who wants some breakfast candy? <laughs> that's a pretty good. Okay, you want to go with your cheese? Yeah, let's get some cheese. Mouth cleanse. Should have brought some water. It's all right. All right, let's dink it. What? Looks like every, it, it's, it's cheddar. It looks like pretty much every other cheese crisp out there. Mmm. Great crunch though. It's got a really good crunch. Mm-hmm. Not like moon cheese. It's like, um, it's like the F-bomb ones. And there was another one that we really liked that was super crunchy, but I can't remember the name of it. With the parm it. crisps. Mm -hmm. There's lots of them. Uh, we get them sometimes at Aldi. Honestly, I've moved away from cheese crisps a lot because I can't control myself with them. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to eat the entire bag. There's no way I'm dividing this into two servings. So usually when we do it, it's going to be like in a salad. Maybe put it into Lynette's broccoli salad. Oh, yeah. Uh, put it, mix it into your keto chow chili, something like that. Like That's I'm nice. not going to just eat them as a snack because it's not going to satisfy and me. And we'll eat the whole bag. And I'll just eat the whole thing. And they can get expensive. So Well, that would be the thing for me, like how much is the cost compared to all the other ones? Because it tastes like all the other ones. And um, it tastes more Parmesan-y though, yeah. right? I mean, it's supposed to be cheddar, but it tastes very Parmesan. Okay, which one? You want to end with this? I want to end with this because I'm, I've am i got really high hopes for this Genius Gourmet. I am really hoping that I like these because like I said, I did not like the ones that came in the bag. They're so, it's so thin. It's like, it's, I think it's just gotten smushed in the box. Okay. Because you can see it smells really good.
It does and, smell. And I like the fact that they're using allulose because a lot of times, like, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the chocolate chip cookies, especially one like this. It's, like, this it looks soft. very chewy. Yeah, because a lot of times you have the original. What are you doing? Go on the side with the chocolate chips, friend. All right. Here you go. I'll take the one with all the chocolate chips. No, that's for me. Good dink it? Well, this one's got a lot of chocolate chips, too. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I don't need quite this much. Ready? Dink. Mm -mm. I'm just not a fan. It just tastes like you mixed up. I know some people love them, and so, it, but again, taste is subjective. This just tastes like you mixed together almond flour and chocolate chips, and then didn't even bother to bake it. Yeah, it's. I, I don't know. I'm not a fan, but not it could be me. Um, Taste is so subjective. If you like them, that's great. We're not saying that they're horrible for everybody. There's things that we love that some people absolutely hate. And they tell us. <laughs> okay, last item. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna do something. I This is how I much I did not really care for that. Oh, it's still awful. Oh, what are you doing? I love grape. You need better life choices. Okay. This Ugh. is very soft. It is. It looks like the inside of a Three Musketeers bar. That is, is wild. The inside does look like a Three Musketeers bar. That is so wild. It's like a poof. Oh my gosh. That, that oh, smells like, like salted caramel. Wow. Dink, we may be finishing this bar. Dink. Oh my gosh. What a fun mouthfeel. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Wow. You know what it okay, tastes like? Okay, I like these. You know what it tastes like to me? Like a s'mores. Because you've got like the poofy marshmallow typey taste and then like a it crunch. It doesn't taste like a s'mores, but I don't. You've got that mouthfeel. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Here's the cool part is it's six total carbs and since we're splitting it we're only getting three total carbs think it again that is delicious that i is like fun. that that's a fun bar this is fun mm -hmm. wow these could be dangerous for me you would definitely want to make sure that you keep it at a stable room temperature you know where i'd like these frozen heck yes yes this is delicious this was a find what? freeze it mm -hmm. chop it up Mix it inside of a keto chow ice cream. Hello. Hello, lover. Right? Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Because it, oh, yeah. Delicious. Got to freeze it. That is. Impressed. I'm impressed. I, I, I'm excited to see how much these cost. That was good. This was good. This was surprisingly good. And and this was good. Everything else we've had. Yeah. Um, the only, the only thing I'm not a fan of is the cookie. And yeah, again, that, taste is subjective. Yeah. And I mean, and these were like, okay. They're okay. I like I've the been, Chalk Zero ones better. But at least, unless they are like $2 a bag, like the old, you know, Brock's candy was, I wouldn't buy. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be everything that's inside of the January edition of the Keto Crate. Now, uh, again, if you are interested in one, there is a link down below. Makes a great gift for somebody who's getting started on keto. But we are going to give one away. They offered to give us one to give away. So here's what you need to do. You are going to make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit little bell icon so that you're notified. And then leave a comment down below. And then when you leave that comment, we will pick a winner from that and we will notify you through the community channel. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something new that we really like, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.